step back in time to the lively and spirited atmosphere of the 1954 film Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. This classic musical, set in the Oregon frontier, weaves together romance, humor, and captivating dance sequences that have stood the test of time. With its catchy tunes and dynamic choreography, the movie continues to charm audiences across generations, inviting them into a world where love, family, and the joy of music collide. What enduring qualities make this film an everlasting symbol of the industry? The movie's infectious energy, memorable songs, and timeless themes of love and camaraderie have cemented its place in cinematic history. Its ability to evoke a sense of nostalgia while remaining relevant to contemporary viewers speaks volumes about its enduring appeal. Share your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this film. We're eager to hear your stories and connections in the comments below. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, a 1954 musical film, spins a lively tale rooted in the Oregon Territory during the 1850s. Adam Pontipe ventures to town seeking a wife and marries Millie impulsively. Upon arriving at his remote cabin, Millie discovers Adam has six unruly brothers. Determined to tame the lot, she teaches them manners and introduces them to potential partners. Inspired by the Roman legend of the Sabine women, the brothers embark on an audacious plan to woo their own loves, leading to a chaotic but endearing romp of mistaken identities and heartfelt realizations. The film's exuberant choreography and catchy tunes contribute to its enduring charm, notably the barn-raising dance and the spirited Sabine women. Despite some dated gender dynamics, its infectious energy and delightful performances cemented its status as a beloved classic in the musical genre, later adapted for the stage and influencing subsequent works. The story's origins trace back to a short story by Stephen Vincent Bent, which was adapted into a successful Broadway musical before being brought to the big screen. The characters, particularly the Pontipi brothers and their respective brides, have become iconic in musical theater lore. The film's unique blend of romance, humor, and dance sequences set against a rustic backdrop captivated audiences and continues to be celebrated in popular culture through references and adaptations. Its impact on subsequent musicals and movies is palpable as it remains a touchstone for classic Hollywood musicals and a testament to the enduring appeal of captivating storytelling and memorable melodies. Shot in a mere 48 days, the 1954 movie Seven Brides for Seven Brothers achieved an impressive feat in cinematic production. Despite the tight schedule, the film encapsulated the spirited essence of the Oregon Territory during the 1850s. Its brisk shooting timeline speaks volumes about the dedication and efficiency of the cast and crew, resulting in a timeless piece of musical storytelling. This quick turnaround underscores the commitment to bringing Stephen Vincent Benz's short story to life on the big screen. Notably, the movie's rapid production timeline didn't compromise its enduring charm or the exuberant choreography that remains etched in the annals of classic Hollywood musicals. The film's lasting impact on popular culture continues to resonate, a testament to the power of concise yet compelling filmmaking. Titled A Bride for Seven Brothers initially, the 1954 film faced skepticism from MGM executives about its market appeal. Adapted from the short story The Sabin Women, the executives doubted audience interest in a film with that title. Consequently, it was red idled Seven Brides for Seven Brothers after an interim attempt as a bride for Seven Brothers was deemed too risked by censors. This alteration reflected the studio's efforts to find a balance between marketability and acceptability, highlighting the challenges in naming a film. Despite this title dilemma, the movie eventually became a classic in the musical genre, showcasing the timeless tale of romance, mistaken identities, and the spirited antics of the Pontipi brothers in the Oregon Territory during the 1850s. MGM initially labeled Seven Brides for Seven Brothers a lower-tier film, allocating its budget elsewhere, expecting a different movie to excel. This decision led to painted backdrops instead of real locations. However, behind the scenes, the famous barn-raising dance demanded extensive rehearsals. Russ Tamblin, not initially a dancer, impressed choreographer Michael Kidd with acrobatics, earning a spot in the dance. His unconventional entry into the dance sequence became a standout moment, showcasing the adaptability and creativity within the production. 
The film's journey from a sideline project to a celebrated classic mirrors the unexpected talents that emerged during its creation, adding layers of depth to its enduring charm. The 1954 movie Seven Brides for Seven Brothers faced some intriguing challenges during production. Howard Keel, playing Adam, disagreed with certain character elements, leading to the departure of two original writers. Keel objected to reprising a song and a soliloquy, believing they didn't suit Adam's character. Consequently, a shift in writers occurred, impacting the film's development. Moreover, Keel held this movie as his personal favorite among his various roles. However, the production faced censorship hurdles, particularly regarding a line in the song Lonesome Polecat. The film navigated around this issue cleverly, avoiding showing certain elements in the same shot to appease the censors. Despite these obstacles, the film remains a beloved classic, enduring through time for its spirited storytelling, iconic dance sequences, and memorable tunes. Its production challenges and creative solutions add depth to its legacy, showcasing both the dedication of the cast and crew and the nuances of navigating censorship and artistic differences in filmmaking. In 1954, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers emerged as a powerhouse for MGM, raking in a profit exceeding $3 million, a substantial sum for its time, equivalent to nearly $30 million in 2021. This financial success solidified its status as one of the year's most popular films. Behind the scenes, the creativity and costume design added a unique touch to the film. Walter Plunkett, the costume designer, sourced materials from the Salvation Army, fashioning the bride's costumes from old quilts. This resourceful approach not only contributed to the film's visual appeal, but also showcased the ingenuity of the production team. The film's iconic dance sequences, a hallmark of classic Hollywood musicals, almost didn't come to fruition. Michael Kidd, the choreographer, initially turned down the project, seeking a break after a Broadway show. However, upon hearing the score, he changed his mind. Director Stanley Donan, though, assured Kidd there would be no actual dancing, only staging. This promise was broken in a subsequent production meeting, causing tension between Kidd and Donan. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes add layers to the narrative of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, revealing the financial success, creative costume choices, and the internal struggles that shaped the film. Each element contributes to the enduring legacy of this 1954 classic. As the curtains draw to a close, we hope this journey through the enchanting world of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers has stirred the depths of your cinematic soul. The 1954 masterpiece weaves a tapestry of love, dance, and familial bonds that transcend time. Now, as the credits roll, we invite you to wander down the corridors of your own memories to reflect on the moments when the melodies of this timeless classic intertwined with the rhythm of your life. Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon wrapped in the warmth of nostalgia, or a spontaneous movie night that etched the vibrant scenes of the Pontipi brothers into your heart. Did the spirited dance sequences ignite a hidden passion, or did the tender romance kindle a flame within? Share with us the echoes of laughter, the silent tears, and the quiet whispers that this cinematic gem may have inspired. In this shared space of storytelling, let your voice join the chorus of those who have been touched by the magic of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Your unique tale adds a layer to the rich tapestry of experiences, making this classic not just a movie but a living, breathing entity that continues to resonate across generations. As we bid adieu, we extend our deepest gratitude for embarking on this journey with us. Your presence has illuminated these cinematic corridors, and we eagerly await the tales y'all weave in the tapestry of shared memories. Until our narratives entwine again, thank you for your time and cherished reflections. Crafted with the spirit of cinematic celebration, 